These fields in Down East Maine produce the majority of wild blueberries grown in North America. The blueberry barrens produce a smaller fruit compared to the cultivated berries grown in other parts of the country. The Maine wild blueberry's smaller size allows for more concentrated flavor, leading to a competitive advantage over the cultivated berry. Maine's blueberry production has tripled over the past decade, improved weed management, use of bees, fertilizer, and irrigation are the major reasons for the success of the industry. The larger wild crops in Maine and Canada and increasing competition from more cultivated plantings in the United States and overseas require a greater concentration on quality for Maine berries to retain their competitive edge. There are five factors you as an important member of the production team can help control. Raking, winnowing, tote color and filling, holding time, and holding temperature. Raking the berries needs to be a careful process, not a race against time to jam as many berries as possible into the rake. We try to get people to be, re be relaxed, be relaxed when they're raking, not to, not to rake the berry aggressively. And to put the rake in underneath and lift the tines up so that the tines point upward and it rolls the, the berry back. That way you're not ripping the berry up through the bushes. And the berry rolls back into the rake. And we normally and and we normally tell our people that when the berry reaches the well, the edge of the well, to dump the berry by placing it down in and just turning it lightly. So you get real close to the box, yeah. you're not holding yeah. it. The one thing we don't want is wind winnowing because right. uh, the height will damage the berries as they fall. That's right. We'd rather have a dirty box and a good berry. Careful raking reduces crush from overfilling the rake. It also helps reduce cuts from weeds. Crushing or split berries also occur when boxes are overfilled. Remember, each time the berry is handled, it degrades and the effect is cumulative, adding up over time. It's up to you to minimize the handling and to take caution. In the winnowing process, further degradation can occur. When the berry drops from the winnowing machine into buckets, there's a decrease in the texture of the berry and an increase in splits. Again, it's important to avoid overfilling these buckets. Another step along the process is filling the tote boxes. These boxes are purposely designed to hold only a certain number of berries and overfilling them can again lead to crush and defeat the purpose. The blueberry barrens can get extremely hot. This heat will affect the berries harvested. The more time the blueberries are held, the softer they become and more microbe contamination can occur. You'll want to keep the berries from absorbing as much heat as possible. Dark tote colors should be avoided as these colors will absorb heat and increase the temperature of the berries. Maine's blueberry season is usually very short, a matter of a few weeks, but there is quite a difference in the berries harvested early on in the season versus later on. They keep getting softer as they get riper. Uh, and what happens is, is that hopefully your rakers and the things don't crowd their rakes. Uh, they take a little more time picking them. Uh, they knock off in the middle of the afternoon for a couple hours and maybe rake a little at night and towards morning and uh, try to get a much better quality product in here. Maine experiences a wide variety of weather conditions in the summer, from searing heat into the 90s to cold rain and fog in the 50s. The weather can have quite an effect on you and the berries you harvest. When it's hot, berries become very soft and prone to splitting easily. The texture is greatly reduced. When it's wet, the leaves stick easily to the berries and there is loose bloom on the fruit. Neither condition is good to maximize the harvest and quality. Many people try to avoid harvesting in these conditions. If you come across changing weather, be aware of the consequences of harvesting in these adverse conditions. Remember, what you do in the field is the first step in a long line of processing. If damaged berries are brought to the processing line or factory, there's nothing that can be done to recover that product. Everyone has a stake in that quality all along that production line. Quality is an attitude, and everyone must have that attitude along that entire stream of events. 
to really end up with a quality product.